Hello everyone, my name is Ian and you're watching Big Rock Moto. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you're new here and you like this kind of content, I hope you'll consider subscribing. In today's ride tested review, we are going through the Climb Badlands Pro A3 jacket and pant. Now, as always with these ride tested reviews, the only thing I ask is if you like this kind of content, please consider using my affiliate links below if you're buying this gear or any other parts or riding gear uh, for your bike or anything like that. I really, really appreciate that very much. All right, so what is the Badlands Pro A3 in a nutshell? The Klein Badlands Pro A3 motorcycle jacket and pant combine cutting edge materials and design for the absolute ultimate in waterproof and fully armored adventure riding gear. It's the only Gore-Tex suit in the world certified to CE AAA rating for abrasion and impact protection. The price tag on these things, and you probably should sit down for this, is $1,500 for the jacket and $1,000 for the pants. All right, so what are some of the uh, function and features of this suit that help justify that high price tag? So this is really differentiated from the regular Badlands Pro, which is already a very high-end, premium, and expensive suit. This is differentiated because it uses something called Vectran fabric. So the Vectran fabric, and you can go online and nerd out about this if you want, but it's incredibly strong for its weight, uh, incredibly abrasion resistant, and it's just a little also a bit more flexible. So I've had the Badlands Pro suit, I've had the Carlsbad, I've had all of Climb stuff, right? I will tell you that this A3, you do notice that it feels more mobile, less crunchy, and just a bit lighter than the regular Badlands. In addition to that, you're getting the CE AAA rating that comes from using this Vectran fabric. So this is part of the reason why this suit costs more and does work a little bit better than the regular Badlands. You also have the Gore-Tex three-layer pro shell. So if you look at something like a Carlsbad, I think you're getting like the two-layer shell and maybe call that performance or something like that. But if you get the Badlands or the Badlands A3, you're getting the Gore-Tex three-layer uh, pro shell. Or membrane. Now, I've personally found it to be a little bit more breathable and incredibly weather resist, weatherproof and waterproof as compared to those other ones. So if, if I'm riding in wet conditions, this is the suit that I'm putting on to go out for that ride or that trip. Hands down, this thing is amazing in that regard. Now, as we typically see with a suit like this from Climb, there's vents everywhere. They really do, for, for a laminated waterproof suit, uh, and that has direct venting with zippers, Climb really does the best here. They have zippers on the lower arms, on the upper arms, they have outlets in the back of the bicep. They've got all vents across the front of the jacket. You can uh, fold down the collar to get airflow through your torso. You've got vents on the back. On the pants, you have vents at the thigh, on the back of the thigh. You even have a vent down there by your boot and your calf. They did a good job with the venting. That being said, like I always say, if you're riding at lower speeds, off-road, physically working hard and in warm conditions, you're gonna overheat in a suit like this. You need to be wearing you know, dirt bike gear and, 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 and separate layers and stuff like that, jerseys. Or if you want adventure gear, wear a mesh suit, something like Climb's Baja S4, and then layer under and over that when it gets cool or wet. This kind of suit is for extended touring and adventure riding on and off-road in cool and wet conditions or mild conditions. But if it's really, really hot, I'd recommend you look at something else. The reason for that is, no matter how good they do with the vents, unless you're moving about 35 miles an hour, and uh, this also depends on how much wind protection your bike has too. If you're behind a big windshield, you're not getting as much airflow. If you're standing up, that can help. But you need air flowing through the suit uh, to keep yourself from overheating. So at lower speeds, you're just not gonna get that. Um, so keep that in mind when you're choosing a suit uh, for the riding that you like to do. Other things, in terms of storage, it's amazing. There's storage, there's hidden pockets, there's outside pockets, there's waterproof pockets, there's inside pockets. Uh, the pants have a nice pocket here. Um, the storage is excellent. This is one of those world traveling suits that you could really use uh, in terms of storage. So I like that. There's almost too many pockets. I get things kind of lost in this thing. Some other functional details I like. I like the zipper on the jacket. You can zip from the bottom. So if it feels a little tight at your waist when you're sitting on the bike, you can zip that up a little bit. Um, the pants, you know, they have a really good opening with a zipper and snaps to go over any kind of uh, enduro or motocross boots. These are the Alpenstars 
uh, toucan boots, which are kind of a cross between an adventure boot and, an, and a motocross boot. So <clears throat> no problem going over that. Um, you know, like I've mentioned, storage everywhere, vents everywhere. You've got adjusters at the lower sleeves, the upper sleeves. They still don't have torso fit adjusters, which I don't know why Climb doesn't do that. You know, I really would like to see that. You've got a storage pouch, rabbit pouch on the back. Um, they really did think of everything when it comes to this gear. Let's talk about the fit for a second. So I am between medium and large in the Climb uh, stuff and for the jacket. This is a medium jacket and uh, this fits me a little tight. It could be a little bit larger. I think it's maybe a half size too small, but when I get the large, which I've also tried, that one's too big. So I'm between sizing. Use the size chart to figure out for yourself. Climb is really more of that uh, American cut. It tends to be a little more boxy, a little bit more generous. Um, so keep that in mind. So to summarize the pros and cons, Amazing armor, CE level two armor, if I didn't already mention that, everywhere. So you've got CE level two um, at the shoulders, the elbows, the back, the knees. Then you have hip pads. I think the hip pads are actually CE level two or maybe the CE one. The chest does have armor. It uses kind of a foam armor. You can upgrade that very quickly to CE level uh, one uh, divided chest armor if you'd like and climb sells those pads. So that's recommended, but I have the, the smaller foam pads in here now. So the impact protection is the best you're gonna get in a suit like this. Um, of course, the abrasion resistance is also incredible with that CE AAA rating that they got this certified to. Uh, the weatherproofing, the waterproofing is incredible on this. Close up your vents. Uh, water's really just not getting through the jacket unless it gets down the collar or gets between the pants and the jacket. Speaking of that, you can zip the pants and jacket together. So I do like that. Uh, we've talked about good venting. The storage is amazing. And the other pro is that, look, you can be the envy of all your buddies to show them that, look, you take this so seriously that you were willing to spend $2,500 on a riding suit. So uh, now what are the downsides to the suit? It's still bulky, it's still heavy, right? It's just that comes with the territory with something with this much protection. Um, we've talked about the issue of hot temperatures and that goes for any suit like this. So keep those things in mind. The pants, so you know, the thing with the climb pants is, and, and I'll put the video up here, but they're just baggy. They're, they're kind of like wearing like just they, they just feel like there's too much material. That I don't really know why Climb does that. Maybe it's to accommodate armor if you want to wear separate armor uh, as opposed to the built-in armor or layers. But I just find the pants to be a little bit too baggy. It could potentially help with the venting so that you get some air between your legs and the pant. Maybe that's the idea. But I do find them to be a bit baggy and I'd prefer a little bit of a slimmer cut on the pants. What are the competitors to this? Well. I mean, Revit has a very top end suit uh, that's somewhat similar to this. You could look at that. But really, if you want a waterproof suit with CE AAA rating, I mean, this is the only one in the world. So it's kind of in a league of its own. Uh, now, should you spend the $300 more to upgrade to this versus the regular Climb Badlands Pro? In my opinion, yes. And, you know, the funny thing is, if you're already, if I'm doing this and I'm looking at, okay, uh, the regular Badlands is like 1200 bucks now for the jacket, I think, and this is uh, 1500 bucks. So I, I'm telling you, I do think it's probably worth that extra 300 bucks to get the Vectran material with the additional abrasion resistance. And in addition to that, it's lighter, more mobile, less bulky, less crunchy, and more comfortable to wear. So I do think that it probably is worth that extra little bit of money. If you're already breaking the bank and going nuts, going nuts buying this stuff, I would just get, honestly, I would just get this one. I mean, you might as well have the best of the best and spend a couple hundred more bucks to do that. That's just my opinion. It's okay if, if you differ from that opinion. So what are my final thoughts on this suit? This suit is the suit that I'm going to be taking if I am doing extended uh, touring, on and off-road touring, or even just on-road on touring in cool and wet weather because I know I am guaranteed to stay dry, to stay comfortable. And when it does get warm, as long as I'm not, you know, doing those low speed off-road situations like on an enduro bike, I can't open up the vents and get good airflow. Use cooling base layers like the Climb Aggressor, a minus 1.0 base layer. They work incredibly well to help keep your body cool. Consider wearing a wet base layer underneath if it's really hot and get air flowing through. If you do it right, you can use this in hot weather. But really for me, this is that extended touring and in inclement weather. This is the suit I'm taking, period, end of story, no questions asked. So 
I hope this was useful. Please consider supporting the channel by using my links uh, when you're purchasing your gear. If you have any questions, put that down below. Thanks for watching, ride safe, and I'll see you out there.